Hello guys and welcome to another mixing tutorial. Today we're going to talk about mixing with your EQ and how to create a cleaner, more seamless mix. Make sure you go check out my first mixing tutorial here where I covered all the basics of how to beat match and align your tracks. Click on the annotation or check out the first link in the description below. Sometimes when you mix two tracks together, it can just sound like a total train wreck. Even if you're perfectly beat matched and in time, there's just so much sound in your mix it comes out terrible. Let me demonstrate. I've got two tracks lined up here, uh, both copyright free, so they're not the greatest songs you've ever heard. Here's our first track. And our second track. So let's just play them, all perfectly synced, and... There's a lot of sound going on here, and it's, it's just, there's just a lot of noise, and it's a very messy transition. So you should be able to hear the mix is very messy and there's lots of layers of sound. This is where our EQ comes in. It allows us to isolate parts of the track. Now most controllers have a three band EQ. You have your bass sounds, your mid sounds, and your treble, which combine to give you a full range. It's a case of being on your EQ controls, balancing them so it sounds right. Uh, something you need to think about is if you have isolated EQs on your controller. This basically means that when you take out the bass, mid and highs, you will have absolutely no sound coming through that channel. This is pretty much the case with most DJ controllers you'll find. So let's try mixing those two songs again, but this time I'm going to use my EQ to isolate the bass on the track we're bringing in. Let's have a go. So now we can crossfade our bass. So we've now moved over to using the bass from our new track and we can complete the transition. So what I did there was use the EQ to create a more seamless transition so we don't have all the layers of sound on top of each other at once. We're isolating different parts and bringing them in at different times. So again, we started off just by introducing the treble on the high of this track with all the range of this track. And then we introduced the bass line of this one and removed the bass of our original track. So we kind of cross-faded the bass lines there, which created a much more seamless transition without all that messy noise and really heavy bass lines from both the tracks combining. Just by isolating your EQs, you can turn a really messy, clunky mix into a really nice transition. And that's how you mix with your EQ. It's a great way to create interesting mixes that allow two songs to merge into one another by combining different bass lines and melodies. Mixing is something that takes a lot of practice, but once you have it mastered, you can create some really great transitions. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions or any topics for future mixing tutorials, please let me know down in the comments below. So until then, thanks for watching.